In this lesson, we'll discuss an example of how to determine the number of pi groups in a dimensional analysis problem. Here we have an open cylindrical tank of diameter D that contains a liquid. The liquid has a specific weight gamma and is filled to a height H in the tank. If we look at the side view of the tank, the weight of the liquid will cause the bottom of the tank to deform. And let's say that we want to develop an equation that will let us predict the maximum deflection of the bottom of the tank, which we'll call delta. You consult with an engineer who has a lot of experience with the behavior of materials, and the engineer thinks that delta should be some function of the tank diameter d, height of the liquid h, specific weight of the liquid gamma, as well as the modulus of elasticity of the tank material, e, and the thickness of the bottom of the tank, tau. The number of variables in this problem, n, is 6. In order to determine the number of pi groups required to study this system, we need to find the number of reference dimensions. We list the basic dimensions of all six variables in the FLT and MLT dimensional systems. The maximum deflection delta, tank diameter d, liquid height h, and thickness tau have dimensions of length in both systems. Specific weight gamma has dimensions of force per length cubed in the FLT system. Recalling that force has dimensions of mass, length, per time squared, that means gamma has dimensions of mass, length to the negative 2, time to the negative 2 in the MLT system. The modulus of elasticity E has dimensions of force per length squared in the FLT system, and dimensions of mass, length to the negative 1, time to the negative 2 in the MLT system. Now let's review the number of basic dimensions in both columns. In the FLT system, we can describe the dimensions of all variables using just two basic dimensions, force and length. Time does not appear. However, in the MLT system, we need all three basic dimensions, mass, length, and time, to describe the dimensions of all variables. In situations where the number of basic dimensions in the FLT and MLT systems differ, we select the smaller of the two values for the number of reference dimensions k. So k is equal to 2 in our scenario. It should be noted that in most dimensional analysis problems in fluid mechanics, the number of basic dimensions in the FLT and MLT systems will be the same. However, we always must go through the exercise of finding the number of basic dimensions in both the FLT and MLT systems because situations like this example can occur where the number of basic dimensions differ. The number of repeating variables is equal to the number of reference dimensions. It's 2. One example of a valid set of repeating variables is the modulus of elasticity E and tank diameter D. The number of pi groups required to study this problem experimentally is determined by subtracting the number of reference dimensions from the number of variables. 6 minus 2 is 4, so 4 pi groups will be required.